The objective of this phase three study was to determine whether blue light flexible cystoscopy in the office setting would increase the detection of bladder cancer uh, recurrence. Uh, this was a phase three study uh, in an open, comparative, prospective, within patient control study. It included 304 patients at 17 academic institutions around the, the U.S. The key findings of the study uh, were that there were 65 patients who had recurrences. 21.5% uh, of the recurrences were seen with blue light cystoscopy only. Uh, again, this is in the office setting, so it, it increased uh, the detection of the tumors, and this was highly statistically significant. And of the patients who had carcinoma in situ, there were 26 patients. Nine of those patients were exclusively found by blue light cystoscopy only. So about a third of patients with these significant high-grade tumors were detected by the blue light flexible cystoscopy with CISFU. So one of the important aspects of this study was also uh, capturing the patient reported outcomes. Uh, there were several questions asked from the patients uh, after the procedure in the office. Basically, not over 90% of patients thought this was a worthwhile procedure, and again, uh, over 90%, 94% said they would do it again. Uh, this is important because there's an extra step to the procedure with the installation of the agent within the bladder. I think this study shows that blue light uh, flexible cystoscopy with CISFU can provide a significant advantage in patients as far as early detection uh, of the tumor recurrence. Uh, it may improve treatment and also lead to decreased recurrence rates and hopefully even decreased progression rates. I think what uh, this study means for urologists is that in the future this can be a, a significant addition to our, our armamentarium for uh, detection of uh, tumors in the office setting and the surveillance setting. Uh, I think that's one of the most significant obstacles right now is to uh, find these uh, tumors at a, at a timely uh, fashion so that we can implement the proper treatment for these patients. So in another study being presented here uh, at the AUA, we presented the results of the uh, bladder cancer registry study. This was a poster session, blue light cystoscopy for the diagnosis of urothelial bladder cancer. Uh, this is a prospective multi-center registry, currently the largest registry study in the U.S. for bladder cancer. And these are nine centers, includes over 420 patients, uh, over 1,300 lesions, 517 procedures. So this is a very large database. The major findings from the study was increased detection of carcinoma in situ, as we had seen in other studies, as well as increase in detection of papillary lesions over white light cystoscopy alone. It can result in upstaging and upgrading of tumors in 13% of the patients.